Okay, the last thing I wanted to review was how to get driveways and mulch beds and things like that onto the property. Now, I did a save. Uh, I copied this proposed site and put it on a layer called uh, excavated site, just so I could still have the excavated site and the existing site to compare those two cut fill numbers in case I get in and start doing anything else dramatically different to the property. It gives me that little backup. All right, so the first thing we need to do to get this driveway on here to fit the contour that we have now is back down here, it's important to keep that two-dimensional uh, site plan that you've got going on down here with the house footprint. This is just an outline of the house, but that way you can connect to it, and then when you plop it down onto the property, it's going to fit perfectly. So uh, this had an existing gravel drive going down through there that kind of ends up going into the house that we're replacing with the permanent driveway and um, haven't reviewed this with the clients yet to see uh, we figured there will be a turnaround in here um, you got two ba three bays total these aren't a problem this one here is going to be tight so don't really want the whole front yard to be asphalt so we're going to see how this will work out but I just drew something that looked kind of pleasant now I have all this on a group so that when I draw this on top this driveway on top of it it's a separate entity so once I drew all the way around it it closed and created this um, plane okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna I just wanna copy this plane right here of this driveway on up above the property and if you remember we were at 800 and about 830 some feet up here so I'm gonna take this just to make it easy and I'm gonna take that I'm gonna do a move copy and start going up in the blue axis on the blue and I'm gonna go up say you know at 900 feet just to get up above the property alright so now I'm hovering above it well how do I get it down onto the ground because I want this area to be figured on the area that's actually on the ground and that's a good quick exercise on that I'm gonna select if it'll let me And I'm going to find out what this area is. It's about 4,100 square feet. I want to see if what that does once it fits the topography. Okay. All right. So to fit down onto this shape to make it slope and start going from here on down and do the whole thing, we use a command over here. We first of all select it, and then we're going to come over here and use the drape command is right here and we're gonna drape that onto and you pick the surface you wanted to go onto onto there all right and you can see it scrolling through and then boom it's on there and see how now it fits the property and also when we go to edit this group we now have a nice isolated area so let's say if we go over to materials and we go over to uh, asphalt and concrete we can paint that thing and put an asphalt texture to it and you got it and I'm just gonna come up here and delete this driveway that's hanging out in space so now it fits the contour there's our turnaround area but I'm curious we were at 4100 square feet before now that area is 4115 so it's obviously grown not as much as I thought it would so but it's now no longer level it's going down the slope so that's how we get a driveway on the site. You could, let's say you had a, a sidewalk or maybe a walk going down to the dock or uh, real commonly mulch beds that you want to put all around the property. You would draw them down here on the site, on the plan, and then raise them up above and drape them onto the property. So it's pretty simple. And that's how you do that.